Hey, it's Anfan. You're watching Quick Request with a pure black screen, green screen effect. <laughs> that should look very weird. No, it doesn't. I was asked the question on in a YouTube comment under one of my videos. How do you filter MIDI notes so that um, from a single MIDI track you can drive multiple tracks um, where you have synthesizers making drum sounds. If the synthesizer doesn't have a MIDI note filter built in. So in that video I was using a Zenat sub effects to basically get MIDI data from one track and then respond to only specific note for each track of the drum kit. And then each track, you know, would play kick, snare and etc. And the Zenat sub effects synthesizer has a MIDI filter, a MIDI note filter. So you can say which part of the MIDI keyboard uh, the synthesizer will respond to. So you can limit that to a single note. So when you play on your keyboard, all the synthesizers are receiving all MIDI notes you play, but they filter that themselves and only play each one on a single key. So you have a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat, etc. Helm, for example, doesn't have such something like that, and many synthesizers don't have this functionality. Actually, most don't. So in this video, I want to show you how can you do that with a MIDI filter plugin. So the first thing is uh, we need some drums. I'm going to create free um, Helm instances. I'm going to call this Helm. These are MIDI tracks. We could actually use MIDI buses because we won't store any um, MIDI data on these. So these are just our presets. You can't really, you know, make a, a clip here because this is not what we're going to do. We will have just one MIDI track and this is going to be the drums. Yeah, and just a single MIDI track. So now I will uh, make this track um, do, 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 do. Oh, wait, let's do this. I'm going to go for here's the the output from the drums MIDI bus routing grid and here we have in the routing grid we have left right audio channels and the first MIDI channel. So I want to feed that MIDI channel into Ardor buses and all three Helm mm, um, will receive the MIDI input. So now if I put a, something here and you can see all three MIDI tracks play the note, sorry, the, all three MIDI buses play this MIDI note because it's being fed to it, to them. So now um, I'm going to quickly make some drum patches so we can have three distinct sounds. Now I'm going to make a simple pattern. So we will have kick, snare, and hi-hat. Right? Now we want these three MIDI buses to filter this so the kick only reacts to note C4, the snare only reacts to note C sharp 4, and the hi-hat only reacts to note D4. Right? This way we can draw our drum pattern in the single track and then copy and paste that all we want and we don't have to fiddle around with all that stuff. We can just, you know, group it and hide it or something and, and we're done. We're, we're ready to roll. So, uh, I'm not going to make the patches now because they don't do anything interesting yet. So, I'm going to use a MIDI and we need to find a plugin that interests us. A MIDI filter. We have a middle MIDI channel filter. Well, that doesn't do what we need. MIDI note channel map. MIDI notch, no. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we can, um, well, we could actually put this on our uh, drums uh, track here. Oh, we have an instrument here too. We don't want any instruments here, right? Uh, why doesn't it actually... Why don't this make sound? 
Ah, oh, because we have the output set to nothing. Okay. Not sure why. Why is that? <laughs> cool. So, MIDI note to channel. Okay, so we can basically filter every single note to a different channel. Well, that would be one way of doing it. So we can cut this, paste it here, and we can like have, you know, C, which is kick to channel one, C sharp, which is snare to channel two, D, which is hi-hat to channel three, right? And then we can right click here and use, okay, we don't have this here. Okay, we can use a MIDI channel filter and then have only the well that sucks because yeah, I have to click through all of that it's just an eyesore okay all right so now I put this here so now this should respond only to two notes C let's do this and now I disable this enable this second one Okay, we have some success. Paste, and now disable this, and disable, yeah, enable the third one only. Okay, the kick for some reason doesn't sound. This is enabled, it, it should be okay, right? Okay, ah, oh, okay, because we have no master output for some reason. All right, so we have this. Uh, we have filtered the MIDI data basically by using two plugins. One is MIDI Note Filter, a uh, Note Channel Map by Robin Garius. Uh, so this is the MIDI LV2, I think, MIDI Filter LV2 pack. Uh, I will link to that uh, plugin pack in the description so you can download it. Basically we say all C notes go to channel one, all, all C sharp notes go to channel two, all D notes go to channel three. If we have more elements to our drum kit, we simply select another subsequent um, MIDI channel number for each note and then we use that note for each instrument and then for the MIDI bus that listens to that instrument we need to insert a MIDI channel filter by Falk TX or any other MIDI channel filter and enable only the channel that is assigned to this instrument. So it is a bit fiddly but it could be a useful setup if you want to, you know, program complex drum beats and have the control easy on a single track. So now I'm going to make some sound so this actually sounds somewhat sensible and not just like, like a nonsensical, you know, fart of uh, saltive waves and whatnot. So let's make a kick. Uh, Let's see if I can make a kick without listening. Hello? Well, almost. I'm gonna solo this. Alright. Uh, it's not too good, but... Oh yeah, that's better. Let's make a high pass. a tiny bit of noise. Huh. All right, that's a kick. This will be a snare. Let's loop it, and again, just a sign. And we need some noise. Of course, a high pass. Pretty sweet. Well, now this the hi hat. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Oh, that's a super simple hi hat. Oh, this is okay. 
And there you have it. I'm sure there are different ways to, to work around this with different plugins. Um, but this is one way of doing it. So I hope this uh, video was useful. Um, yeah. And thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions about this stuff uh, or open source music production software in general like Ardor uh, or uh, Helm, the synthesizer, there are some videos I made about both. Actually, a lot of videos I made about Ardor and some videos about Helm and other plugins. Um, so check out those. And uh, thanks to all the Patreons at patreon.com who help me dedicate more time to do this stuff instead of doing other work. Because we all need to eat and I would love to share all my knowledge and experience and my passion with you. So you can make some great music with open source software. Because I think that's just terrific that we have this software. And you know. Okay, uh, thanks again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, that was short. <laughs>